it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Let me just write Paul. Paul Acosta. Paul Acosta. Okay. You know what I was I was just thinking the other day is oh, that yeah. um, I was like, yo, I think having a lot of muscles mm. uh, works against you in fighting. Yeah. Because like you, it restricts your movement. Right. You know what I mean? Because like, oh, you're less flexible. Yeah. 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 Like, I, I think if you have more muscle, like, it it is bad. Uh huh. In, in MMA. I think it's good for like the first two rounds. If you can knock them out first two rounds, you're but, good. Yeah, yeah. But the thing but is, then like, you die by like the third round. Well, no, not even that. Like, like, like we saw right now, or like we saw with John Jones, mm-hmm. Anderson Silva, all those guys. Is that like they they fucked up all the muscle of people? Yeah. Um. Yeah. But like Brock Lesnar, when he faced like someone great, like he always got, like when he faced Cain Velasquez, uh, Alistair. I think that's the other reason Alistair, Alistair yeah, doesn't yeah. get that big. It uh, doesn't get a. Uh, because yeah. he's like so muscled up. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think like he just gets fucked up because he just can't react uh-huh. or like just doesn't have that much range. I think it really fucks up your mm-hmm. range of things. Like you do leg kicks or whatever. Like yeah. either they get slower, you don't throw as high. Uh huh. Because Paul Costa couldn't throw a, a leg kick. Right. Like yeah. like Israel. Like it just oh, throws yeah, a lot yeah. faster and I think a lot um a lot faster and he can. Um, like bring it back like he has better technique probably has a little bit more range right um, I think that was like the biggest reason mm. why why him and Joel Romero keep getting fucked up right I feel like because he knew he couldn't last full five rounds if he just attacked Izzy right away uh huh so I think he was waiting for like round three round four oh, until he gasses out or something no just to like uh, uh, maintain his energy because if he just went like yeah, as, right away, like how he did with like Romero, he would have been tired third round. You know what I think it was? I think it was that like he just couldn't find anything to do because mm-hmm. Israel just stayed on the outside and just kept kicking his leg right for the longest time. And yeah. when he tried to step in and actually was like, "Yo, this is hurting. I should do something now right. before my leg breaks or gives out." Yeah, I should try to fuck this guy up. And when he tried to do that, he got fucked up. Right. I think that's that's what happened. Mm. Cuz like his leg was like started to look pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah. After, even after the first round. Yo, but I, he's on steroids, Costa, he's on steroids. I think is uh Israel too. Cuz wow. his right tit, you see oh, his right tit. Oh, that was so fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. You want me to show it? It's kind of. Yo, it w- when I looked at the fight too and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Is he getting breast cancer? What? It looked like uh he's lactating. Yeah, it it was looking pretty weird. Um, what does I say? Israel is oh, come? come on, coaches. I'll show oh, you the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll show oh, you Michelle thing. Watterson. Michelle. Yeah, she's hot. The karate hottie. Yeah. Why are they looking at my titties? <laughs> yeah. Yo, because it looks fucked up, bro. Yeah. But you see, he's hiding some shit because they asked him and he like froze. And usually he's quick. Oh, yeah. And yeah. he kind of froze. Yeah. He's like, he probably has. Yeah, he probably has some infection. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the picture. AIDS? Let me try to find the picture. Hey, this could be yo. And not even that, his back, like from that area, seemed a bit deformed as well. Oh really? Here it is. Let me make it bigger. It's like a saggy titty. Yeah, I don't know if I can make this bigger. But let's see over here if it looks all right. Actually, I think that's always the thing. Let's see. Let's see if it in the previous fights. This was the the new one. Okay, Robert Whitaker. Okay, let's see if it's the same in this. Where it looks normal. Yeah. Or, let's see. Yeah, normal. Here it looks normal, right? So, yeah, something happened, yo. That's, That's interesting. And then he, he humped... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, thing. yeah. Oh, I got that. I got that uh, right here. Where is it? So oh. disrespectful. Yo. Like, yo, you already won. Like, Bro, I, I... I didn't... Okay, let's just watch it first. Yeah. And then, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why? Like, yeah, yo, like, let's see, do you show another angle? Oh, no, they don't show another angle. Fuck. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, cool. So, yeah. what do you think is going to happen? Let's say they rematch and uh-huh. Costa wins, knocks out Israel. Okay. Because he's going to retaliate even right. worse now. Uh-huh. He's probably actually going to stick it in. Um, I would. He, he, yeah, I would, too. Yeah. Have you seen the boxing fight with Marcus Maidana and Adrian Broner? Okay, I'll, no. show, you, I'll show you that scene. Ooh. And I'll come come back to this as well. What was there insertion? So <laughs> yeah, he, he said, "Fuck these gloves, suck my dick." No, because you know what it is. In the beginning of the fight, he was fucking him up. Yeah, and he tr- he tried to do that shit, and that guy was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" And then oh. by the ninth round, he was almost knocking him out, and then he did that. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Oh, it was pretty fucking sick, yo. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marcus, 
Maidana, Adrian. Yeah, <laughs> it's the first surge. Oh. It's the first fucking surge, yo. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, they're, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. humping each other. Yeah. So yeah, this was this was a great fight, by the way. Oh no way! So this was the first round. First round. Eleventh round. Oh! <laughs> and oh yeah, and I'll show you the knockout that happened. Oh, uh, don't tell me who won. I want to see. Yeah, you. Uh, no, no, I gotta show you that. Yeah. I gotta show you that. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> oh, that's karma. Yeah. That's why you shouldn't celebrate too early. I never celebrate unless I win. Right, right, right. Oh, that's you see, that's a that's a white thing. <laughs> that's logic, white, <laughs> smart. After we take the land, yeah. Really okay, relax, man. Just relax, okay? So this was I think in the second round. Ooh, that was second round. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? And this is after the first one. No, th yeah, this is after the first one. Yeah. Tries to split the guard with the left uppercut. Oh, uh, below the belt. Yeah, slightly. Oh, line. he felt Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 like, landed pretty quickly. Like, and he is Wait, is he wobbling up. or dancing? Probably wobbling. Got up too quickly from that uh, knockdown from that left hook. What an opportunity for my Donna here. Oh, this guy's ready to pounce. Too. Yeah, that was the second round. I'm trying to find the last. Oh, what the fuck? Part of it. Why is he... Oh, shit. Oh, this video is like, sorry, my bad. This video didn't show, didn't do service. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole round two. I'll just show you the first knockdown, and I'll when I find the video for the other one. Yeah, I'll show you that one. So who's the third here? Adrian Broner and Mark Marcus Maidana. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Yo, bro, he was. It looked like he was oh. dancing. It looked like he was <laughs> doing the Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. 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 Did you know Adrian Broner? I've heard of him. Yeah. Yo, he talks so much shit. And he was supposed to be the second Floyd Mayweather. Oh. Let, let me show you his, his record. Because I think this was the only knockdown in this uh, in this uh, video. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let me show you his record and show you where this fight happened. Because this uh, Marcus Maidana was like supposed to lose that fight. He was supposed to lose that fight by a lot of. So like, he beat Broner. He beat Broner and like pretty, he fucked him up hard, and that's why that guy got the Floyd Mayweather fight. Oh. Yeah. So, Marcus, yeah, this was his first loss. He gave him his first loss. Wow. Yeah. Oh, it was a unanimous decision. But so yeah. is that only lost so far? No, no, no. Then he started. Then he got fucked up, and then he lost to a few other guys. One, two, three. Oh. He lost to a forty-year-old Manny Pacquiao. That's and Manny. Pacquiao. Did he really? Yeah, he lost to, I think, Manny Pacquiao is 40 now, right? Yeah, 40, yeah, when he was 40. Wow. He lost to Manny Pacquiao when he was 40, yeah. He, yeah he, now he's just like, I don't think he, he has it anymore. Oh, um, up. Yeah, but that, that and, I, and I have this theory that, like, when people, like, get their first loss, like, uh. it really, a lot of them, it really breaks them. Uh-huh. Like, Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Like, um, Deontay Wilder. Yeah, that broke him, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I think, um... Anthony Joshua. I, th I don't know if it broke Ooh. him, but I just don't think he was that good in the right. first place. But yeah. Conor McGregor, even though it wasn't his first but loss. Know, yeah, but Conor is like, that's why I respect Conor because like he came back from the loss. Yeah. And he. he the Nate one, Nate Diaz. Nate, yeah. Nate Diaz one. And like, who else did he beat? And the Eddie Alvarez he beat right after. Yeah, I think yeah. But like, Conor is one guy, like, he doesn't like, he wasn't backing out from a challenge at that point. Yeah. Like, it was pretty crazy how much he believed in himself that he delivered. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. But I think the Khabib one, mm -hmm. I think that broke his ego. Oh, 100. Because now he wants to fight Diego Sanchez. Yeah. Well, uh, that, that was weird, though. Like, I was I was kind of pissed off that, like, he fucking leaked the car. Like, yeah, who, yeah. Yo, that's such a bitch. That bro. is a fucking, that's the gear shit. Yeah. Like, and you know, the thing is, like, you can't even, like, do anything about you, people. I think the only thing you could do is, like, tell people, like, your athletes, like, you can't have a Twitter account. Right. And that you can't do. Yeah. Because they're like, that's like, well, that's like, that'd be fucked up. Like, that'd be like. But I guess because he's like considered retired right now. He's not under contract. Mm -hmm. So I guess he can kind of say whatever. I see. Okay. But nobody's but, gonna want to work with him. He does that shit. Well, not even that. I think like in the future, I think companies will say you cannot have yeah a Facebook and Instagram, or you cannot post right or about certain topics or yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah blah blah. You can't make fun of fat people. That's kind of gonna suck though, because then Colby can't do his shit. You know. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah we're yeah. like, no, you can't. Well, that's why they don't censor it right now. Because yeah. if they were to censor it, it would sell yeah less of their product. It would be like NFL, where it's like they can't celebrate, you know. Well, no, well, in the NBA, NFL, like they can uh, take the knee and blah 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 yeah. and all that stuff. And I think that's that's their side of the selling. Right. Like that's the side yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. Like if they go against that, I think that will hurt their product mm. more than this side. Right, right. Because I don't think they care about Black Lives, even though they have it on the court. Uh oh, <laughs> LeBron, <laughs> you hear that? I hope you lose. You're gonna get demonetized. Jimmy now. Butler, Jimmy Butler had a white mom. He loves white. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I like Jimmy Butler's Jimmy story. Butler. Yo, it's not even a story. I like him as a player. I like him as a player, and. You know what? I do want Miami to win, but I just don't know what they're going to do about, like, Anthony Davis for the most part. Because, like, LeBron, Ooh. I mean, Jimmy can guard uh, LeBron maybe a bit. Yeah. And a few other people can. But Bam at Ar- 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 is going to yeah. guard Anthony Davis, but then they'll have JaVale McGee or somebody yeah. bigger underneath to get more rebounds. I, I think, like... I think I know what's going to happen. What? I'm calling it right now. Game three, Anthony Davis gets injured. Out for the series. <laughs> you think that they, they, they said some, send somebody out to fucking fuck him up? I talked to a psychic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is so crazy if that happens. Yo. I'm going to replay this fucking part of the yeah. podcast. Then, yo, if, if that happened, I would start marketing as a psychic and like post it on like ads, like Instagram ads. Or you should do, like if, I think I would buy stuff from you if you had three of those. Three different three, ones? Three, three different predictions that came through. Interesting. Because I, I had other ones. Uh huh. I had Germany winning the World Cup. Okay. And I had them beating Argentina in overtime too. And that's what happened. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what it is? I I knew this one girl that used to go to uh like a psychic and like uh and she used to go to these chakra uh, like energy people uh-huh. and this, it was like they gave her a fucking folder. Oh. A fucking folder of like what her energy or something is. No way. And how like what it means or something and what it what it meant was like um it was it's like hurting my brain thinking yeah. about what she said <laughs> that's why i have to hold my brain that it doesn't explode right now yeah. um it, like i think what it meant was like uh like this happened in your childhood or something um or you're not that compassionate some oh, quality yeah, yeah. Uh, of something that you need it, it's just all, it was all bullshit bullshit yeah. it was all bullshit but like i was like yo but it sells. Right. Like, uh, Especially to a broken person. Because they know something's wrong. They're like, fix me. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But well, they're just too stupid to like go to a psychologist, you know? Yeah. Let me work this magic. Well, it's the same reason why like a lot of those like people... Like, I hate to take a shit on Gary V. Yeah. But like Tim Dillon was talking about it. He was like, Gary Vee's like, you should uh, go hustle. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, okay, like that will inspire you to do something. But it's like, what What should I do? What? Right. What should I fuck? Like, okay, yes. Okay, now I'm up at 4 a.m. Yeah. I'm ready to <laughs> go, ready to but go. what do I do? Yeah. <laughs> like, what business should... Flip, why Why don't you fucking sell your mom's jewelry? Yeah. <laughs> Start flipping that. Go, go work retail. <laughs> yeah. Go. And fucking hustle. Go to a restaurant, steal a chair, put it in a yeah. bus, and sell it. Yeah. <laughs> Get a job during your break, sell yeah. some stocks, you know, hustle. Yeah, because he's pretty big on the flip. That's the only thing that he shows all the time, flipping. Gary Vee? Yeah, and uh-huh. garage sale. You should go to every garage sale in the yeah. world. So. Yeah, I pick up baseball cards. Yeah. So Chad throws toys. He picks up a lot of those. Does he? Yeah. I don't. Mm, could be. Cuties. Could be cuties. Casting director. I was going to make a sketch. Um, like me as a casting director for cuties ah. and like oh come on shake your ass oh what did I teach you at school I like that yeah I'll do that I'll do it tomorrow like damn you're fine bitch yeah yeah, yeah. oh what you can twerk yo yeah, nice ass yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was planning on making this a kids movie yeah, yeah. so if you wanna come get the job you have to come to yeah. my office <laughs> um, okay so there was that and Israel also said about the coaches uh uh, I'm gonna come all over yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strikes. And just beautiful. Work. <laughs> it's like he's, it's just like it's, it's not even witty. It's not well, even. It's not like, witty. It's nothing. It's just like so extra. It's like it's just nonsense. It's not. And you know what it is? Like I was thinking that I was like, yo, he thinks he has way more haters than he actually has. Right. Yeah. I don't think he has that many haters. But now I kind of don't like him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, at first I was like, okay, he's dancing, whatever. I don't give a shit mm. that much. But like. Now I'm saying, all right, bro, chill the yeah. fuck out. Like, yeah. 
we don't want you to downfall that bad. Like, right. <laughs> like, but it was interesting. His net worth is only two million. Well, he's only been a champion for um, Yo. Oh, yeah. he's had three championship fights. But maybe you start becoming a dickhead once you make your first mill. Maybe that's, or maybe the second mill, you start becoming just complete asshole. When, uh, I want to test that out. I when, become... when, when are you gonna buy your first baby mama a house so you can yeah. uh, cheat on her? Oh yeah, like that's the first with thing. the cleaning lady. Yeah, <laughs> and you can be like, all right, what the fuck are you really gonna do now? Are you I gonna pay for this? Uh, yeah, not even that. Do you want to drive a Mercedes? Yeah, I would. Yeah. I feel like if I did this as a joke at an open mic, it would be deemed as racist so hard. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. You'd be kicked out of Canada. Yeah. <laughs> Trudo, Trudo sees a fucking clip of it. I feel like one of these days Trudo's gonna see one of my clips. He's like, oh, well, you know, comedy is good and everything. And like, there's a lot of great uh... comedians on CBC, <laughs> as you can see, talking about fucking posters and bread. But <laughs> what he said is just totally unacceptable. You might want to kill that spider. White bread right is there. bad. Yeah, I'm gonna spray it out. Spray you, bro. Is it something in your house that they're like, oh, let's eat? Yeah, well, let's eat spi- <laughs> yeah. spiders are here quite a lot. Uh, mosquitoes, uh-huh. it's just, I think there's light. I think it's a decently warm day. Uh-huh. I think that's why mosquitoes are here. Thank God for warm day. Thank God for coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, we saw that. Oh, yeah. Why Nuggets lost? Do you give a fuck why Nuggets lost? Who? Why do you think the Nuggets lost? I didn't watch. I was still boycotting. Oh, of. okay. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. You were on your knee. I yeah, I wanted to I wanted to really boycott, so I got bo- on both of my knees <laughs> and, and then kissed a black man's kiss his feet. I guess. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I knew a black guy that did that to a brown guy. He told the brown guy to kiss oh. his feet, and it was in front of the whole school. Oh, for real? Yeah. And yeah. he did it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he bitched out hard. Oh, for real? Because man. he was talking tough, too. The brown mm-hmm. guy. He's like, talking so much shit. All of a sudden, what I'm thinking is, I should uh, write down this joke uh, about the knee yeah. and the double knee. I was like, I know that joke is going to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I know that joke is going to work. <laughs> Whenever I'm talking to Devin and like, I come across, like, we talk about something, I'm like, that could be a good bit. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, that's going to be a good bit. And I'm like, okay, keep that in your It's going to make me a star. Well, I don't know if it's going to make me a star, but it definitely gives you like, Maybe like at least thirty to forty five seconds more uh-huh. of like material. Right. And if you get twenty of those, you got twenty minutes. Yeah. And they yeah. all come like this. Like because before I used to fuck it. Okay. When you try to come up with material, do you just like have random thoughts? I'll have random thoughts, put it in my phone. Okay. And then when I go to write, I just pull the best of. I used to do that too, but like a lot of what I do now is like when things happen. Yeah. And it was like really funny and i was like yo that could be really funny uh-huh. i use that now uh-huh yeah and you know what it is because half of the guesswork is like kind of in that in that case it's kind of gone because right. like it was funny yeah like fucking really hilarious yeah. at that one moment yeah. for some reason yeah and if i can somehow like somehow communicate yeah. that to random people yeah that's it uh-huh. i think comedy a lot of times it just comes down to communication like right. if they get your idea yeah. If you can communicate in a way where obviously offend, blah, 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 and all that yeah. shit. If they get you, that's like more than half the work done. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Because Patrice then, would use the wrong word sometimes. Right. But you kind of still knew what he was saying. He would put the word in the wrong place. Right. And, you know? Mm. That and... Well, but you can still understand. If you don't have a punchline, you should always say, I got fucking my ass. Yeah. I think that, that would usually work. Yeah. That's my comedy advice. Do that, kids. <laughs> Hassan School of Comedy. Yeah, after and with Joe Wu. After, yeah, after four and some Corona, four and a Corona year of comedy. Yeah. It's somehow you know what in my head when I started comedy, I was like, by this time, I will wipe out everybody. Yeah, that's there. I thought I would have got my CBC special by now. <laughs> but this time, there's. Literally no one that knows my name. Like yeah. when an open micer randomly says "good job," I'm like, "Yeah, you think it was great?" Even when your dad, when you come home, he's like, "Who are you?" Oh, my dad doesn't. My dad thinks like I uh, act like a clown <laughs> on random days at night. <laughs> he, if he finds like a costume in my bag of a clown, like he like, okay, he does his clown thing at night. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Pretty he probably sure. Probably hates you. Oh yeah, he hates. But as as long as the money's coming in, yeah, that's it. 
And the five prayers. And the five prayers. Oh, yeah, prayers. Yeah. yeah, and the five prayers. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah. no pork. Uh huh. And four wives. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I wish I could have four wives. Not one, not two, not three, but four. Do you, do you know anybody with uh, four wives? Four wives? Well, when I was in Saudi Arabia, I don't know personally, but when I used to like uh, drive past, like uh, take my bicycle across like some place or whatever, like some yeah. of these like people were living in pretty fucking huge houses. Oh yeah. And they would have like a, a few women like here and there like covered up in their house. Like I would just take like a peek or whatever. And I think those people had more than one wife. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It was like, yeah. And, and that was like common-ish. Yeah? Yeah, yeah common-ish. Like not really, really common, but common-ish. So it's kind of like the one percenters. Pretty like, much. That, like, pretty much. There's like, some people that yeah. got a lot of wealth. Yeah. But... And like, it's, it's not like, because like when I, the building that I used to live in, a lot of Saudi people lived in that building. Like, uh-huh. if, if immigrants did as well, but yeah. a lot of Saudis lived as well. But this is in Saudi? This is in Saudi. Uh huh. Yeah. And like, so it, it wasn't like all Saudi people are rich. Yeah. It's very few. Oh. Yeah. But. Like here or, or more rich? More here. than here. More. Because over there, I, w- I could visibly see. Actually, you know what? I'm wrong. I think less than here, because over here, I think a lot more, like, I see a lot more, like, uh, not Ferrari, actually, no, there's way more over there, because you uh, see a lot more Ferraris uh, over there on the road. Okay. That's how I'm judging <laughs> how good people are doing, is how many Ferraris I see on the road, and I see a lot more. Yo, but now, so many people have Teslas. But Tesla's not ex- as expensive as a Ferrari. Ferrari's, like, 500,000, yo. Oh, is it? I had no idea. Yeah. Ferraris are, like, five- Tesla's, I think, 100,000? Yeah. Probably like five hundred thousand. Do you think Saudis do they lease? Or do Probably, they, yeah. Maybe I don't know, but I think um, I know that like the rich ones, one hundred percent, they have the cash to buy it out. Is there something to uh, Middle Easterners or Arabic? Yeah. Uh, with German cars. Yeah. Volkswagen. Is it like supporting the German? Uh, <laughs> the, 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 Nazi, the Nazi regime. Yeah. Um, Okay, and uh, uh, well, they just love North American cars. Uh-huh. That's the number one thing. Uh-huh. Um, like, uh, if well, a lot of um, immigrants always buy Japanese. Uh-huh. I think Saudis over there, BMW, Mercedes. The German. Well, the German, and obviously, like, they are seen as uh, better cars because they're uh-huh. more expensive for the most part. Uh-huh. Like, a BMW is most likely going to be more expensive than a Toyota, Honda. Right. So, like, it's obviously, like, a class thing or whatever. Oh, you know what's funny? The Somalian kid asked me what, what car I drove uh-huh. before he asked me for money. Oh, for, oh just yeah. so that he could see how much he could get out yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. And, like, an idiot. I was just, like, Honda Civic. Yeah. You know? Is this actually a real story? I swear to God. Oh, wait, this happened? I swear on my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you were doing a bit. No, no, no. <laughs> I just, I thought you, yo, so you actually got robbed for three bucks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I confronted him today over my three bucks. <laughs> Fucking cocksucker. <laughs> yeah. No, I was in a bit. That was real. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. God damn. I confronted a child over $3. Huh. So, wait a second. You went to go play basketball and yeah. he asked you for $3. Yeah. He asked me for money because he was just hungry. Oh, he actually asked you for money. Yeah. Like he, Okay. So He's like, I'm hungry. Okay. His accent came out of nowhere right when he asked for money. Yeah. Eh? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then, okay. Then you felt bad and you gave it. Yeah. Because right. then... I've been going through a new thing where it's like, I'm having more uh, sympathy for kids. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. That it's like, I don't want to see a kid suffer. Okay. But this kid just like, used that to his advantage. Because oh, he knows that, right, 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 you know, right, right, right. people think like that. Mm, you know? He's smart. So now no kids. Right, right, Ever yeah. getting fucking changed. So, yeah, yeah. Now if you're dying on the street and you're like, I'm dying, you're going to die. If I see a kid on the ground, I'm just like walking over. Like yeah, Iverson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Iverson uh, or T. Lou. What's it called? Um, that is pretty crazy. Because when I used to see homeless people, like I always... Be like, I should give them money because, like, you know, I felt bad. Like, yeah, I, yeah. But I don't, I'm just like, that's the world's way of getting rid of you. <laughs> that's interesting, yeah. yeah. I almost kind of agree with that. Like, you just, for some XYZ reason, obviously, like, you, something bad happened. Oh, it could happen to me, too. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying it's not going to happen to me, but uh, it's just that uh, you got fucked up. You were not strong enough to make it. Right. Um, and now it's over. Because, like, do other animals, like, care for another no, animal? Nothing, yeah, the oh, leg? animal, like, that, uh, the, I don't know if you follow this page on Instagram called Nature is Metal. Uh. Yo, as an animal, if yeah. you're not in your tip-top best shape, mm. whether you're a predator or a prey, 
you will die. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like so you got to be like LeBron. Yeah, you got. Everybody has to be LeBron. I have to be right. LeBron to survive. Interesting. You don't want me to take my shirt off. Okay. Yeah, that's true. You can't get load management in the jungle. Yeah. You yeah. Say? Yeah. Yeah. Or you can't be like, yo, I'm gonna shave to fucking hunt a fucking gazelle yeah. next year. Oh. No, but those ones probably become vegan and just oh, like yeah, start yeah. eating like yeah. trees. Like that thing doesn't move. I like that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're like complain to the other. They're like, hey, Tony the Tiger, why are you fucking uh, eating all these fucking meat and shit, man? You should. Fucking- yo, I was thinking about that, like. Corona, mm. that's like, uh, you know, forest fires. Mm-hmm. Forest fires happen to get rid of the dead wood. Okay. And it, like, causes for, like, a rebirth. Uh-huh. And so it's, like, this, like, weird cycle of life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think Corona was that for humans. Of like course a forest fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it just gets rid of the dead wood, the yeah. ones that, like, kind of should have Right. Yeah, but the thing is, like, now, I think, well, with technology and whatnot, we're so ahead yeah. that we can uh, curb that. <laughs> Right, you know, yeah. Yeah, but that's like that's what we have like so much medicine. We have so much thing. Like, with every time, like I see like the population of some of these countries, I'm like, yeah. that's all. Like Canada has like nobody, nothing, yeah. Compared to like so, like Pakistan has 170 million. Wow, and it's it's not that big. It's right, literally the size of Ontario, I think. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but is it packed? Is it smushed? Like people everywhere? In the places where there's people, there's a lot of people. Yeah. Well, when you go like. Like, people that come from there after driving, they right. think they can drive anywhere. So, the, a lot of times, they don't take, like, a instructor or whatever. Uh. And they fuck up because they're driving, like, it's back home. Oh. <laughs> like, if it's an old, old lady going, they're like, we're just going to go around this old bridge right away. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so. No signaling, just, like. Yeah, yeah, just fucking right away. Found a fucking little, like, a red light. Or if, if it's a red light and yeah. there's nobody coming from here and there, you should go. Really? Yeah. I feel like that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I don't know, sometimes fucking cops. Fucking cops. Yeah. <laughs> the blue labs really you know what's interesting? I get annoyed when like immigrants don't signal and it's like they just kinda weave in and that traffic. Right, 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 right. Because right. I'm like, you should assimilate. <laughs> yeah. But then I also get annoyed by people born here right. who do the same thing. I'm like, you should know. Okay, I gotta ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, are you pissed off with people not assimilating? It depends to a degree. Okay. Like a degree. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't be obnoxious. You know, okay. you can do your thing, but kind of, let's say so, like... So, so you do you do want them to assimilate, but, okay. Uh, but the, the thing is not that they don't want to, it's just like... I'll tell you exactly what happens. It's like huh. if they come to if they come from another country, not giving you a lecture. Uh, white man gets yeah. lecture. Oh. <laughs> <Boom. laughs> <laughs> so you see, I don't have white privilege because uh, let me explain why. Yeah. No, no, because if you come from uh, let's say if you're a Punjabi guy, you come from Punjab, yeah, and you go to Brampton in like a pretty big Punjabi community, uh huh, you're never gonna need to learn English, right. learn about this culture do anything yeah. because like all of that all of what you were used to is already uh-huh. here yeah, so you yeah. and like i have a lot of brown friends because like your own like skin color and your own like the people that get you the most yeah is who or the people like that have access to you and communication uh-huh. like if you don't know right. the other language yeah. like you're not going to communicate so that's what like if you don't know english 100 percent, you are gonna like if an Asian person doesn't know English, they're gonna hang out only with Asians. Yeah. Like, but you're, now you're typecasted. Now you can't. Yeah. You can't be like a salesman at insurance. Oh yeah, you, you can't do any. Which is which is why it's hilarious when an Asian lady is doing your insurance yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. okay, I want to cancel. Okay, cash her. What? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, like my, my my girlfriend's mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, still can't speak English. Right. Colombian. Right, right, right. But like, she's been here for like forty years. Right. But she still can't speak because all she does is clean houses. Okay. Well, well she, she still she actually works. Yeah, yeah, she cleans houses like stereotypical. Yeah, yeah, but like that's pretty. But you see, I'm so amazed at that that yeah. you were able to fucking find work without yeah. speaking the language. Right. That's fucking. That's the thing. You find it through your other. Oh, friends. it's not through her. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. So it's like her friend. So, so the person that learned, like, would you like some cleaning service? Yeah, is the person that profited the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're at the top of the pyramid. Yeah. yeah. She's like, my secret to this success is I learned, I went to ESL for three classes. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so boss. Shit. 
but she still has the balls to be like, I'm very educated. Yeah. Like, that's not how you fucking say it, you dumbass. Like, I hope she never sees this, but <laughs> um, we'll, we'll beep out her name. Well, we didn't say her name. We won't say her name. <laughs> I guess I said my girlfriend's mom. That is true, but yeah. they don't know who your girlfriend is. But she'll know if she sees this. Which is something, doesn't she know already? Uh, I kind of hint that I'm annoyed at her mom. But oh, like, yeah, that is true. I've I, never been like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, call Liz, I call my girlfriend's mom, uh, like, a bitch. Huh. <laughs> so, yeah. no, you're not a lemon. Uh, okay, fuck, I guess you can call her a bitch all the time. But... Next, you're choking her mom? <laughs> yeah, well, not like that, like, you can fucking hit your mom, but when I do it, it's wrong. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's double standard. That is the weird double standard. That's pretty bullshit. Yeah. 